生。Everybody and welcome back. Uh, I hope that coming through, I just managed the last second to to change a setting that actually fixed my microphone having a problem. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm coming through okay. It looks fine on this end. Um, but yes, hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, we are going to be essentially trying this all again. Um, from last week where I had a slew of technical difficulties, uh, internet relate, re related and otherwise. Um, we are trying, so we are trying again and hoping. Um, so yeah, um, before we get properly started, I just want to quick take a quick moment and point out my link tree. Uh, Linktree is a place where you can find all my links to all the places that I exist at, essentially. Uh, all the places. Um, so my YouTube, my Discord, my socials, it's in my Twitch, my Patreon, etc. Um, those are all the ways you can support me and help me with my content creation journey. Um, and if you don't want to, that's okay. You don't have to. I won't hold it against you. I promise. Um... But, uh, yeah, anyway. <sighs> Let's get back into it, shall we? Before something goes wrong. <laughs> Knocks on wood. Ugh, okay. What has Yvonne done to you? I don't know. What did Yvonne do to you? Oh, she didn't make you do shit. You chose that hell hole yourself. what actually good things you'll come across if you actually give things a chance. This coming from the guy who famously doesn't give anything a chance. But at least I know what I'm missing out on. No, I give I give I give things a lot more chances than they should. Than that I probably should, but You should mess you should message Yvonne and tell her that you're that you are uh, defaming her in my Twitch chat. Jacob. <laughs> you look terrible. And you're late? Me? Never. I was simply retrieving the information you sent me to get. It was easy, really. Something about an event happening tonight at the Tower of London. The gala. I will be attending. You're our in, then. You can't just barge in and steal the crown jewels. She's right. We need a plan. Oh, bother. Jacob, you can escort Mr. Singh to tonight's event. This will give you a chance to slip away from the party and find the koi -no. I'll take care of the guards around the perimeter. Meet me at the top of the White Tower. Good! Another chance to wear the suit. No weapons allowed. Where's the fun in that?
actually you know what we're gonna do instead of doing this we're going to uh take a pause on that um and do some main storyline um after last week where uh jacob had a really rough time we're gonna do, do the we're gonna continue the main main storyline uh because the whole uh Ma last maharaja stuff takes place right at like right after the main storyline stuff so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do the main storyline stuff um which is over here actually just a quick check just a quick checky checky check uh okay right that's over here No, you won't. No, you don't. I have her now. No, you don't. Not gonna catch me, copper. Lol. swap because we're yeah okay Hey, Freddy, good old Aberline. Quite a cabbage you got there. Where did you buy it, if, if you don't mind me asking? Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn it all. Was it my eyebrows? Yes, and your face, voice, and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's Ball tonight. How did you come by that? Freddy? There's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you. Only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So? Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach. Of course. <laughs> Sorry, a bug distracted me. Um... Do not kill anyone. I am the wrong Fry Twin for this.
Bruh. There's one over there. Let's check out over here. Ah, hmm. Less interesting. Okay. Oh, kidnap it. There you go. I don't require a reason to end your life. I'm just gonna come over here. And you're gonna take a nap. Knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. Carry him, carry him, carry him, carry him. Hide him, hide him, hide him, hide him. And get away with it. Scott's clean and free. Oh, yeah. Wah, wah. Okay, so now he'll see me if I go over here. I need to call him over here. Get ready with the smoke bomb. Get ready with a smoke bomb! Now you are coming with me now. Keep now. Don't turn around. Fuck, both of them saw me. Both of them heard me, I mean. Are you I lost? took a risk. Not my problem. Go away. Silence, and I might let you live. Okay, now. <laughs> gonna put you some modesty lay you down in here in the bushes and then loot the corpse charming now to hide the body body hidden Freddy, here oh. I come. I fuck, I, I fucked that up. I did not check the bonuses. I failed. I failed, dude. I failed.
Oh shit, I reset the whole memory. Okay. I, I clicked the wrong thing, didn't I? Womp womp. Oh well. Hey old Freddy. Let's skip this conversation. Oh shit balls. Okay. What? I didn't. Oh well, I'll do that on my own time. Okay. Actually, no. No, because I skipped that final cutscene not realizing it was the final cutscene. So, um... No, we're gonna redo that. We're gonna redo that. We're gonna redo that. That was that was not... That was one of the least egregious... Uh... Memories we've had to do. One of the missions we've had to do. Um, so it is not a problem redoing that one. As long as the game reloads properly! Yay! Okay. Speak with Avaline. Now this one we could skip. Nice garage, governor. And now we run over here. We've already done that. Okay, now. Leap of... Leap of faith, do 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 Leap of faith, do 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 Leap of faith, do 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 Leap of faith. You saw nothing? Come here. I wonder what all the Archie Barge is about. I'd rather not hurt you. Don't think I won't. to keep quiet. I hesitated to push the button.
Where'd he go? Uh, okay, I mean that works. I'm being too cheeky. Too cheeky. We're gonna pop that. We're gonna kidnap him. Not a peep from you. Printing over hey, here. Going on? Going on? Ah. Knock him out. Do, 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 do. Knock him out. Do, do. Sorry, bugs. Charming. Now to hide the body. One second. Got it. It did. Okay, hide the body in a carriage. How the hell am I going to get him into a carriage? We're just going to put you down for a second while I go looking for a carriage. Of course, there's a goddamn... Oh, man. Okay. Uh, oh, I could go that way. Hold on. hell just happened my friend you'll be all right help is on the way I mean that works that went weird but it works Naked guard do do to do to do naked guard do do to do to do naked guard do do to do to do naked guard Naked guard do do to do to do naked guard do do to do to do naked guard Bitch move a very large man carrying a very naked man is running in a direct line. You do not stand in front of him. <laughs> Freddy, here All right. I come. Crazy. One uniform as requested. It's still warm. <laughs> My gift to you? I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. You're such a romantic. It's still warm. I promise you he's not dead. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go. All right. 
<laughs> it's still warm. I promise you he's not dead. <laughs> Oh, wrong button. This is the button I wanted. This is the thing I want. This is the thing. Now that's the thing. The, over there is the other thing. Maximum Dracula. Uh, uh, uh. uh what weapon do I have? Okay. Okay, still not a 10. Alright, fine. Do I have you upgraded? I do have you upgraded. I have you upgraded. I have you upgraded. Do I have... Ugh, damn it, wrong button. Do I have you upgraded? I do. Okay. Alright. Now, next. Ooh, Eevee! Yes, please. I love an Eevee mission. Let me handle this. Oh, easy, dear. Oh, easy, dear. Dead. Nothing I can do. Oh, I do need to stop by a shop. Restock my shit. Here now. A little bit. Go on. Roll there. Okay. What Is you got for me, kid? Right? That's for you. Oh shit, five thousand pounds. Damn, well good. Evie visits Dulip Singh, who, reminder, this is before we do, we've do we done any of the memories we did last time or this time. Uh, or we started to do this time. Uh, <clears throat> to learn if a second set of Buckingham plans exist. Delighted to see you again, Miss Fry. Your Highness, the plans detailing the renovations to Buckingham Palace <clears> have gone astray. I suppose you will have to make do with the copies. There are copies? Where? Uh, not so fast. First, I have a matter of some urgency. Carrying out my plan would require stealth and speed, qualities I know you possess. Time is of the essence, to Your say Highness. The least. Then make this quick, my dear. The most influential men in Parliament remain beyond my reach. But these very men have sent for carriages to prepare for the ball tonight. Acquire an official carriage, and we shall drive the politicians to their destinations. Along the way, I will meet with them. And afterward, I shall tell you where to find the plans. You're a shrewd negotiator. One well, must be when one is so often underestimated. Very fair. I must sneeze in a second. Excuse me. Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. What a mistake. Steal a carriage without entering the courtyard. Don't let the royal carriage's condition drop below 50. Okay. Yard that I have to steal a carriage from.
doing? I didn't do shit. I was just walking. So rude. Alright, well... Okay, that's what I figured. That was the that was indeed the courtyard that I have to um that I have to avoid entering. But yes. to compromise the mission. What a mistake. And we'll be the ones cleaning it up. All right, let's see here. Where can I find one of those? Oh, hi. Right. There it was just casually walking down the street. That was fascinating. Um Okay. Oh, come on, phone. Sorry, my phone's being a bit of a bitch. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Now, it doesn't say I can't kill, so... I'm gonna not kill. I think I'm gonna have to Ooh, go legal, legal. Yep. Okay.
Okay. Well, one of them has a driver. Let's see if I can't spook him. Well, I spooked. Okay, he's gone. Nope, down, Evie. Of, because I spooked that horse, it. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Alright. Well. Oh! Oh! Yay! For technically cheating. I didn't know it would do that, but I'll take it. That's it. Miss Fry. There you go. Climb up, Your Highness. Where are we headed? Belgrave Square. Okay. Come on. Come on! Welcome, sir. Your Highness, what a surprise. <laughs> Is life not about embracing the unexpected? I shall take but a few moments of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people. It was not a seizure, but a rightful transaction. Britain promised to protect me. By robbing me of my kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty signed with my family. Here, read it. I... I was not aware. Read. That is all I ask. You are one of the few in a position to help. I will do what I can. Thank you, sir. I trust you and your son will enjoy the ball this evening. He is newly returned from Delhi. I will share what we have discussed. It is most disconcerting. Huh. Huh. That proved quite valuable. Where to now? St. James's Park. I noticed Mr. Green did not accompany you. He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow our personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like a quotation. It is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You knew him? No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. He was, Your Highness. And your mother as well, Cecily Fry. She and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrick. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. <laughs> father never spoke of her. What would Mr. Green do? He was only a boy when he trained with my father. 
children can be quite perceptive, Miss Fry. Oh, so he was only a child when he trained with Come on. their father. Interesting. To Parliament, please. On the double. Yes, sir. Okay, get in the carriage. We can't go until you can get in. Come on, AI. There you go. Good day, sir. Why, what are you doing? <laughs> I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all I require. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab to her people. The Queen has supplied you with an annual income for God knows how long, and now you might the hand that feeds you? It is not a matter of money. I cannot stand idle and watch my home. Good day, sir. May God bless you. Yeah. Only one more remains. To the Gladstone residence. Do you miss India? I remember that my mother smelled of cinnamon. And when she cradled me in her arms in the summer heat, I would hold so still that she fell asleep. When I lost my kingdom, it hurt. But truly, when they took my mother away, I saw her again two years before she died. The summer long since faded. I miss her. I miss India. I love India because I love my mother. Will you ever return? I have petitioned the government several times, but they withhold their permission. <coughs> Do not be fooled by appearances, Miss Fry. I am, in many ways, a prisoner. Perhaps we may work together more closely for your cause in the future. I would like Which that is what very much, Miss Fry. Which is what we're doing in the in the future with the other with it, with the memories involving him. An opium club. Fuck you. Good day, Mr. Gladstone. Mr. Singh. You are a hard man to thin down. I know what this is about. Your politics have worn off. Your Majesty has tired of you. So now you come begging for scraps. You wound me deeply, sir. My people deserve freedom. I am here to fight for them. Why did you lose the Punjab? I shall tell you, Your Highness. You were outgunned, outmaneuvered, and simply outclassed. Yes? The Sikhs deserve freedom. I hope with British help and progress, they shall achieve it. Then why do they cry out for their king? No, not Britain crime. Britain has a duty to bring about politics. Peace. It is an enormous responsibility. And I value your guidance and advice, along with that of Parliament. But it's our burden to rule India, and certainly not the duty of a forgotten leader who has not seen his country for 20 years. I apologize for yeah. being so frank, but one yeah, must I guess. not tell lies to a king. Your honesty is most enlightening. More. When I become prime minister. It's more that we're doing a racism. We aren't. We are listening to ask uh, to old white men do racisms and trying to fix the racism. I intend to push for peace, but it will be a long and slow process. I'm afraid I can almost guarantee you will never see India again. If my people are free, then my imprisonment shall be no burden. Perhaps your idealism is real. Although, after observing the tigers wandering the grounds of your lush, expensive estate, forgive me. Wrong country, for but yes. It. There you are. 
Much luck, Your Highness, with your lobbying. I hope my advice has done some good. Far more than your policies thus far. But Ooh. I hold out hope that you will make progress. My people are counting on it. Thank you, Miss Fry, for forwarding my cause. Oh, you are welcome. I hope some good comes of it, despite Mr. Gladstone's vitriol. Those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most. Your father, for instance. From what I understand, he was extraordinarily sad, broken even, after your mother's passing. That kind of pain can blind us, cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love. It's time you returned this carriage and recovered those plans. They are located in Buckingham Palace. The Queen keeps them among her personal papers in the white drawing room. <coughs> I wish you a good evening, Miss Evie Fry. And to you, Your Highness. Good as well. A little the worse for wear. of victory what is that hey it is this it is a nine thousand nine not nine level nine and it matches our outfit too oh we had ooh. Here we go. Entry 9. Mr. Green believes that the, that the Shroud is in Buckingham Palace, moved in a hidden vault expressly built to house it. I wish that were enough information to go on. However, Buckingham is large enough to make a search impractical. Mr. Green attempted to obtain a rare set of architectural plans that would reveal the location, but the Templars had stolen it first. Our attempt to recover the plans was disastrous. Mr. Green was captured, and rather than acquiring the plans, I abandoned the mission to find and free him. I make no excuses for my clouded judgment. I fear my father would be disappointed in me. My only comfort is that I still hold the key to the Shroud's casket. Uh, <clears throat> in worse news, Crawford Sterrick has hatched a plan to kill Buckingham Palace to, to kill, to, to attack Buckingham Palace tonight. He needs to kill the queen and take the shroud. Perhaps he thinks my key is unnecessary. I hope that he is wrong. Jacob and I have agreed that this shall be our last mission together. His methods have become too chaotic for me to continue working with him. He has made it clear that he also finds my presence insufferable. It is for the best that we part ways. I am not sure what will happen tonight, so I will focus on the mission at hand.
Jacob and Evie must stop Crawford Starrick from attacking the ball, assassinating and assassinate him and gain control of the piece of Eden. Of course he'd arrive Ooh. in that. Miss Fry? Hand him your weapons. We must enter an armed. She looking fabulous though. Oh. Sir, madam. Dear madam, I am soon to become a prime minister. What in the blazes is our carriage doing here? Get fucked, Gladstone. Racist bastard. Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. And yet, they are so much more pleasant than yours. Charming. Aren't I? No. I shall go and find the piece of Eden. As you wish. I'm off to meet Freddy. The plans are located in the white drawing room, which is most likely locked. The captain of the guard will have a key. Will you two be mad if I try to walk up here? I can't do this on my own. Now we're doing crime, by the way, in case it wasn't clear. Now we're doing crime. Okay, I got one of the keys. So now. Mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? Gentle. What's happening? Gentle. What's that you said? That's not to say you both have bad 
That hurts. The lady is with me. Much obliged. Madam? There we go. Gentle. Just inch past them. Keep that circled small. Gentle. My arm. My arm. Gentle. That hurts. My arm. Me by example, I say, and you'll gain the trust and respect your uniform deserves. And be firm when Gentle. it comes to low lives and villainy. Else you'll get walked over. Gentle. That hurts. Gentle. Gentle. Go to sleep. Have a nap. You worked hard. The plans are somewhere nearby. Now for the vault. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Oh shit. You turn around, you two stay put. Okay. Ah, okay. Um. Alright, so the vault entrance is down there. Jacob's most likely off stealing another carriage somewhere, or accidentally pushing the queen down a flight of stairs. Rare. There you are! <laughs> I have someone I'm simply dying for you to meet. Uh, come with me! She's wearing the vo the the casket key around her neck, which is very stupid, in my opinion. Your Majesty, may I present Miss? First time the fries meet the Queen. Fry, you are the one responsible for Mister Gladstone's mishap. Your Majesty, I apologize. I. The cake is particularly good. Enjoy the ball. I really must be going. Miss Fry, may I have this dance? Mr. Starrick, you've had your fun, but the game is over. Uh -uh. Listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time is a wonderful thing, Miss Fry. It heals all wounds. We may make mistakes while dancing, but the mazurka ends, and then we begin again. Problem is, everyone forgets. They trip on the same mistakes over and over. 
People can learn. Can they? Isn't everyone around you repeating the same steps? But if one man could remember the dance, could know the time, then he could change things for the better. I have had enough. This dance is nearly over. Soon, the people will forget the generation on this terrace. The ruin you nearly wrought on London. When the music ceases, Miss Fry, your time is up. And mine begins. Freddy's there. Okay, I can't get in there. So I'm on the wrong side of the building. Freddy, Staric peppered the regulars with his own men and took several guards hostage. Your weapons are in there. and rescue the captives. How? It's impossible to tell the difference. Oh, ye of little faith. Now to find the real royal guards. Hold still for a moment. You have my thanks. Thanks, mate.
Thank you all. I'll get you out. Key to the walls is one must. Her necklace is gone. Right Her necklace is gone. He's taken the key. Do you require assistance? I never liked balls. <laughs> ah! And the key is still missing from. And the key is missing from the necklace. Never liked balls. Uh -huh. Here, the location of the vault. Go. Just like that. No plan. No time He's for got the key. I'll catch up as soon as I'm rid of this infernal contraption. He's got the damn key, Jacob. Don't argue. Exploiting, I warn you, my boy, but you do not listen. It was a pretty dress, Evie. <laughs> it was a pretty dress, Evie. Like, I get it, but also, it was a pretty dress. Thank you. 
Jacob! Rectify my mistake. Jacob's turn. Can I just shoot him? No. Oh, fuck me. That spawned right in front of me. That again, that said no. Your city. We have oh, you okay. against the wall, Starrett. You're trapped. You cannot maintain. Starrett! Your reign is nearly over. It has barely begun.
London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were hysteric. You were. I love that they're both like, nah, we both need his blood. <laughs> we both need his blood. <laughs> Shame we won't be partners anymore. It's for the best, isn't it? I love that Henry's still You're gonna wear the shroud in the and run London. Whatever it gives, it takes from someone else. You'd continue to age without me. You'd become like father. A fate worse than death. Will you wear it? After you sorted out the boroughs, the chaos I caused, I couldn't compete. Jacob Fry stepping back. Who's blackmailing you? Is it George? He wouldn't dare. <laughs> I've missed you. Me too. Would it be possible to continue where we left off? I'd love nothing more. I'm starting to think Father didn't know everything about everything. <laughs> Henry. It's a big world out there. With London in the center. Perhaps not the very center. For now. I came as soon as I could. Do not worry. I'll... I'll head back to the train. Oh, Did I... Dee. Did I jeopardize the mission? Henry, you saved it. I think you belong in the field with me. He's so he's so used to doing everything wrong. A carriage. Nicely done, Freddy. Abeline, please. Your Majesty. Miss Fry. You've met before? Did I never mention? Mr. Abeline informs me that you three are responsible for saving my life. Is this true? It is, Your Majesty. Evie Fry, step forward. And you? My brother, ma'am, Jacob Fry. And this is Mr. Henry Green. Mr. Fry? Mr. Green? Neil? I invest you all in the Order of the Sacred Garter. Thank you, Your Majesty. If you are as adept as Mr. Abeline implies, I may call on you. Sergeant Abeline tends to exaggerate, Your Majesty. We shall meet again. And Miss Fry? Ma'am? Should you want it? I saved you some cake. <laughs> <laughs> Man, imagine the hold up. Imagine the queen fucking like being like, you know what? That chick I met or met earlier, I want her to have a piece of cake. She's gonna stay like let let's specifically take this piece right here, put it on this plate, and have a servant set this aside specifically for this one. <laughs> imagine.
Father would be proud of you. <laughs> Dame Evie Fry. <laughs> Sir Jacob Fry. <laughs> Race you to the train. You're on. That is not the end. We have a few little bits That's left. That's it. Little bit. It's under the palace. Time to go. The Lucy drone. Let's get the shroud to Doctor Grammatica immediately. Sigma team beat us here. We're too late. Play. What do we do? Killing. Really is the least productive way to achieve our goals. Kill them all. Leave them Contact! Cover me! The smiley face on the skinny <laughs> piece of shit tried to murder me, Berg. I want him them to bleed. Drone one, Desmond. Drone four, Hannah. That progress and put us in the poor house. Them done the horrid murder on bloody stages that loudly crow their humility, lords and dames that sung in the chapels on a Sunday. Ooh, he broke her thing. Her uh, hidden blade. Their mouths are stopped up. Hold still, goddammit! They lie flung in rats and make no sound. Yay for tasers. Only the mission matters. Understood. Those who fought Sean! for something better, those who fought by how they live. Loved ones taken long before this world. Galena, we need an exit. We need to go now. Understood. Shroud. Forget the bloody shroud. Stay with me, Bex. Please. We go. Good work in there, Initiate. In time, we will recover the Shroud. And hey, we pulled a feed from our bug in Isabel's computer before they shut us out. Playing it now. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> so, how's the Shroud gonna help you create a new clone? It's not. And the shroud is wrapped around the body. It scans it for damage and then reconstructs it on a cellular level. You're not making a clone. You're gonna recreate a precursor from scratch. Bingo! The Phoenix Project timetable just got accelerated big time. I'm going to call Alan Rick and deliver the good news. <laughs> it's like Christmas! <laughs> Hello? It's me? Brought the shroud as you asked, but... I'm scared. Do not fear me. You've done well. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared for you. If anyone finds out what you've been doing... You have played your part, my instrument. I will save you. I will save you all. Fuck you, Jenna. Oh, so yeah, what that means, um, 
their temp Templars are attempting to resurrect the Precursors under their control. They're specifically trying... The Templars don't realize that what they're actually doing is being manipulated by Juno because Juno wants a body for herself, but she refuses to live in a standard... in a loser human body. Um, and in a lower life form's body like us. Um, so she wants a Precursor body, and that's what he's going... That's what... Uh, they're making, not realizing it's for her. Uh, Violet DaCosta has been working for Juno for a while um, as a member of the Instruments of the First... Uh, I forget if it's the First Will or First first something. Instruments of the... Basically, Instruments of the Isu. Um, not forever, but has been for a while. Um... Which even Otto Berg doesn't know, I don't think. Um, but anyway. Alright, we still got some stuff to do here. Let me quickly hop into here. Belts. That's the one I want. Upgrade. Just want one equipped. Now let's swap back. Worry capes. There's this one, which is what we get for completing the Victoria the Lady Victoria missions, or Queen Victoria missions, I mean. Um, and then here's the Aegis, which is the actual counterpart to the, uh, outfit that I'm currently wearing. Let's upgrade. Pretty quick. Okay. Alright. Progression log. Evie's notebook. Final entry. Prophet Steric is dead, and with his death, the Templar influence over London is broken. Few of his allies remain. It's tempting to regard this as a complete victory. It feels like one. However, London's upper classes still live in abject poverty, ruled by a capricious and cruel elite. Uh, sorry, under London's underclasses still live in abject poverty, ruled by a capricious and cruel elite. Women are still denied education, suffrage, and property rights. England's military still stretches out to steal wealth from other nations to build our own coffers. The assassins still have much work to do if we wish for London to be truly free. Jacob and I have mended our differences for now. It remains to be seen if we can both bend enough in our philosophies to continue to work together, but I am optimistic. One philosophy I have decided to abandon entirely. Father's adage that relationships will compromise the brotherhood. I think his love for my mother proves that on this point. He was that proves that on this point he was mistaken. Henry has agreed to stay with me in London for the moment. In exchange, I have agreed to travel with him to India in the near future. He is waiting for me now, so I will close here. All right. Now to just finish the last little bits here. All right, let's finish Singh's mission because we have like one or two of his left. I do need to swing by this store right here because I've been hurting for Get down. uh not hurting but my OCD demands Please that make sure to come I again. have all full equipment. <laughs>
Okay. It has glitched. Well. I mean, kind of, yeah. you late? Me? Never. I was simply retrieving the information you sent me to get. It was easy, really. Something about an event happening tonight at the Tower of London. The guard? I will be attending. You're our in, then. You can't just barge in and steal the crown jewels. She's right. We need a plan. Oh, bother. Jacob, you can escort Mr. Singh to tonight's event. This will give you a chance to slip away from the party and find the Koi Noor. I'll take care of the guards around the perimeter. Meet me at the top of the White Tower. Good! Another chance to wear the suit. No weapons allowed. Where's the fun in that? We have an hour left to stream. I'm gonna do my best to get this done today so that we can start the uh, the, the 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 fuck I forget what it's called the separate DLC storyline uh, next week. I should find Sing. The jewels are being held upstairs. The beaker. This isn't one of the most heavily guarded places. Then I'm a true Englishman. I may need your help to distract these guards. Just give me the signal. I need to go up at least one I more need sink floor. to distract those guards. Let's put the bees. Oh, I do believe oh, I've lost a bunch of you wrote about. Will somebody help me find them? You should have seen them. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond is on the second floor. It's awfully quiet up here.
Hey, long time no see. I wonder what's inside that crate. How you been? Someone got here before I did. Well, if the diamond's not here, I've got to find it before it leaves the building. If it hasn't already. All right, so you need to turn around, please. Please turn around. Please turn around. Thank you. We're fast friends now, aren't we? Where could it have gone? Today was kind of rough for you? I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm doing okay. Uh, if you don't mind talking about it, what made today rough? Where could it have gone? This plan was genius. We'll get him this time. Friends with the Queen? Ha! She won't be friends with him when she finds the diamond is in his pocket. He'll never see it coming. Once he tries to walk out that door, he'll kiss his royal title goodbye. And henceforth be known as prisoner scene. They planted the diamond on the leap? Not good. Gotcha, gotcha. The diamond. Oh, your friend is as charming as you are, Mr. Singh. <laughs> you flatter me, Ma. Now, do tell me, how do you two know each other? Oh, we met at the missionary compound in Patagon, The Loggins were quite fond of the Ellsworths. Uh, Mr. Singh and I were quite close, your ladyship. It was a lonely time on foreign soil for me. I was more than happy to have a friend. I'm sure. And now the company has sent you here on urgent business. Mm, I wish I could disclose the information, your ladyship. But alas, I cannot. Now to find my sister. Soon enough. <laughs> But yeah, that's fair. Dreading your first way, first day back to work, that's very fair. Um, I'm glad. Uh, did you have fun on your vacation? Do anything special? Uh, you were saying it was towel. a staycation, right? That didn't go well. sleep so much <laughs> even on a staycation did you do anything fun other than sleep Oh, 
I'll just die. That is fair. We have a Oop, missed. What took you so long? Bit of a mishap. Here it is. What happened? Somebody stole it first. The safe had been robbed by the time I got there. The British Indies Company will stop at nothing. There was a plan to frame Singh. I lifted it from him before the Royal Guards found it. Imagine the look on Her Majesty's face if... They must know by now that their plan was foiled. You're welcome. I think it's time to depart. How's my Monday been going? My Monday's been going well. Went well. Um, last week I, I had. A way out of here. Last week I had a bit of. Uh, I had a bit of a week last week, but uh, today's been going really well so far. Make it out all right. Yeah, exactly. Fresh week. It was all it was I had a, I just had a bunch of technical difficulties all happen like right in a row and on Monday and Tuesday. And it it very much left me at a point where I was like, okay, screw this. I'm taking a week off. Did you get it to your sister? Just barely. What do you mean? I'll tell you about it another time. You encountered some trouble? We can't speak of this here. The British Indies Company is up to no good again. Outside then. You, sir, halt for inspection. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Search him. Nothing. The coroner isn't here. But of course there's nothing. What do you take me for? Some sort of criminal? How's your mother? <laughs> My goodness, are you all right? Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. What was all that commotion about, Jesus. Mr. Singh? I do believe they thought I was trying to pinch the Koh-i-Noor, your ladyship. Huh? The Koh-i-Noor? Who on earth would want to steal that potato? Good night, your highness. We barely got out of there in one piece. The British Indies Company tried to plant the diamond on you and frame you for stealing it. Luckily, I was there just in the nick of time. We need to meet back at Mr. Green's shop. I must see the diamond with my own two eyes. I love that she called the Koei Nor a freaking potato. But, uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes you do have to just say screw it and take some time off and come back fresh. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. The Koi Nor, if I may. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you for that. Glass. The real Koi Nor never left India. Had I known you planned to reclaim it, I would have stopped you. My father ensured it never fell into Templar hands. Your father has done a great service to me and my people. My words to you earlier were unfair. You were not wrong. I too have grown frustrated with my lack of progress. Shall we let bygones be bygones? We need to find out who's behind all of this. And why the Templars and the British Indies companies have joined forces. What we should do is track them down and destroy their headquarters. Jacob. That may not be such a terrible idea, Mr. Fry. <laughs> He's like, See, I'm not always wrong. <laughs> Here? Sure. Under threat from the British Indies Company, the assassins are determined to find out who is attempting to silence their friend. I spoke with Mr. Green, and we have discovered the location of the British Indies secret headquarters. You are to meet him, and he will give you the details. There is a foundry nearby where the Templars and BIC members have been meeting on a regular basis. Mr. Green waits for you there. But we still don't understand why they tried to frame you. We don't, but Mr. Green seemed to think that they're using the factory to develop something. It's a good place to start digging. Good luck. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate you popping in and for lurking. I hope you have a great day at work tomorrow. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Thank you so much. Oh, that's gonna be gas. 
I thought I was above water. Oops. I should have looked. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, I need the store first. That's over here. Hello, sir. Thank you. You made it. His Highness said you found the British Indies Company headquarters. They've taken over an abandoned foundry. It's heavily fortified, and word has it, they're shipping something precious overseas. Whatever it is, it can't be good. My thoughts exactly. Go find out what they're protecting and destroy it. Maybe you'll discover why they're after <sighs> Mr. Singh. This is where they're hiding that elusive sleeping gas. These crates can't leave London. Creating a biological weapon. I must destroy them. Oops. Well. You don't need you don't need my help to look rather silly. Thank you. 
Okay, Bring that works. The boss. We've got a problem. This is it. We've got them now. Oh wow, it went all the way up. Okay. Ellsworth. It can't be. I need to get a better look. Destroy. Hey, look, a better look. How? A better look. There's someone in the vicinity. A spy. One of those rocks, I wager. No, it must be those damned renegades Sing is friends with. Who knew one caged bird could cause so much trouble? You've been unmasked, Ellsworth. Give up. I knew you were to blame. Seize her. Yeah, good luck with He's that. Gone. I must report back to Mr. Singh immediately. I love that he was just stuck at the light there, at, the, at that what corner there. What did you find there. out? Who's behind all of this? You're not going to like what I have to tell you, Your Highness. Brinley Ellsworth is behind the attacks. Ellsworth? He rushed off before I could catch up to him. I'm yeah. sorry. No, we, we caught we up to him, we need to find him before he puts your life at more risk than he already has. I need some time to think on this. Mr. Sandman. Can I have control, please? Game? Game still thinks I'm in a cutscene. This is good. This is this is real good. So Sing, you, you had your moment to think, yeah? <laughs> Uh... Yeah, nope. Game borked. Bear with me. For one moment, and we'll get back into the video game. Because because it registered as being in a conversation or a cutscene, I the only button that was responding was escape. Because escape, you can pause cutscenes, and the only thing in that cutscene that you could do is, um, is uh. Well, pause or disable slash enable subtitles. Couldn't open it. You couldn't open the 
map, couldn't fast travel anywhere. <sighs> Bad face. Yeah, the Jack the Ripper DLC. That's what that's what I'm gonna try to be able to start next week. Um, we'll see. We'll see how the rest of tonight goes. Oh, excuse me. All right. Final showdown. Okay. It's the final showdown. I've saved a few bolts. Do you think they'd be safe in the bank? Oh. Oh. Hello, Mr. Green. Conversation do we have? It looked like he sneezed with that head jerk. <laughs> A message of hope, perfection. A red tulip. A declaration of love. I, um, Miss Rye, um, you know that I hold you in the highest esteem and, and regard, and I, I was wondering if you would do me the honor of, if you would, uh, give me your hand in matrimony. If yes. I'm gonna be pissed that she's missing this. Oh, well. Her loss. There you go. I have everything to your satisfaction. Breath. Come on. There you go.
Now then, as I was saying... Oh, good. You're here. His Highness seems to have caught a mild case of madness this morning. You were right when you said that this was our chance. I was. I propose we make a commotion. Lure out the Templar-controlled British Indies Company. And do what? Put yourself in the line of fire? I need to send Ellsworth a message. This won't be over until we can draw him out. This is something I must do. I will make a scene, and then you need to rough them up a little. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I've heard you Templars are a bunch of pansies. Is that the best you can do? Come on. He can't can I... defeat you all. You are Yes, I can, but not when the game handicaps me by not letting me do half of my shit. Please spare me! I need you to send a message to Ellsworth. I'll do anything! Tell him to meet me at Lambert Cemetery tonight and tell him to come alone. He won't. Because he's a cowardly oh bitch. Oh, Jesus. Meet me tonight at Lambert Cemetery. He'll never come alone, even if I ask him to. Pursuing Templars. Ooh, a store. Everything you, you have excellent Steady on. Doing fine, Joe. That's the way. Caused quite a commotion. He's gone mad. Greeny was right. He isn't mad, Jacob. He's trying to take action. To I mean, do he's the right thing. Mad, but he's mind. not mad. I'll take it from here. Fine by me. I could use a good pint right about now. I was expecting Jacob, but I'm glad it's you who have come. He thinks you've gone mad. I probably have. What's your plan? I've asked Brinley to meet me here alone. In turn, he, of course, has sent a small army to secure the area. I need you to get rid of them and meet me back here. It's essential that when Brinley does arrive, I have him to myself. Understood.
Uh, this is not normal. That'll certainly help quite a bit, thank you. He's here. I must talk to him. Don't be absurd, this is dangerous. Miss Fry, this is something I must do, and I must do it alone. Remain hidden. I cannot afford to have him see you. You can't escape me forever, your highness. Come out and face me. I told you to meet me here alone. Not as silly as I once was, Sin. I wouldn't dare come to this meeting place alone. Not with your recently acquired friends. It doesn't have to be like this. You can't just walk this earth like a free man. You are nothing more than a show. A stag's head above a mantelpiece. You've caused enough commotion as it is. It's time to put an end to this. If you kill me now, you will be a wanted man. 
Imagine the uprising when they find out the only son of Ranjit Singh. I've been seen. Shame. I knew you were lying, Singh. Why am I suddenly Jacob? I was Evie. Oh, game. Silly game. Come on. I told you to meet me here alone. Not as silly as I once was, see. I wouldn't dare come to this meeting place alone. Recently acquired friends. I am alone. Just walk this earth like a free man. You are nothing more than a trophy, a stag's head above a man's. You've caused enough commotion as it is. It's time to put an end to this. If you kill me now, you will be a wanted man. Nothing's gonna Imagine slip past the me. Imagine uprising when they find out the only son of Ranjit Singh has been. Oh! I knew you were lying, Singh. Excuse you. I told you to meet me here alone, not as silly as I once was, see. I wouldn't dare come to this meeting place alone. I am alone, Ellsworth. Maybe this far man. back. Imagine the uprising when they find out the only son of Ranjit Singh has been murdered. You are a lost soul. A monarch who has abandoned his people. You are nothing. We were such good friends. Friend! I was behind I a carriage. Come on. I told you to meet me here alone. Not as silly as I once was. Oh my god, game. Quit trying to mess with my camera. Alright, so what if I come over here? It doesn't have to be like this. You can't just walk this earth like a free man. You are nothing more than a trophy. A stag's head above a mantle. Caused enough commotion as it is. It's time to put an end to this. If you kill me now, you will be a wanted man. Imagine the uprising when they find out the only son of Ranjit Singh has been murdered. <laughs> you think they remember you? You are a lost soul. A monarch who has abandoned his people. Nothing's gonna slip past me. Prisoner in prince's clothing. You're lucky to be alive. 
I admit. Ah! Elswith, listen. I've had enough of this. I knew you were lying. <laughs> No, you mustn't! He will kill you! This is what I was sent here for. Be done with it, girl! I shall never forfeit my own mission. I will not allow it. The logins, the company, they all wanted your silence. Whether you spare me or end me, you won't escape the fate they have planned for you. It seems you have learned nothing of India, of its people. But killing you? That is something I cannot do. It would make me no better than the cursed, oppressive company you work for. Yeah. You will die as you were raised, Sing. You'll never be more than a, a trophy of war. We will bury you in English soil. <laughs> you have done me much, good. I am heavily indebted to you both. We are happy to help. I fear that I cannot continue handling things in this manner. The assassin way is not my way. As helpful as you have been, this empire, this land, my people. The problem is so much bigger than death. I know I must devote my life to this cause, to put India, my home, back onto the map, return it to its people. It's a long and grueling journey, but it is something I must do, even if it takes me to my own death. We understand, Your Highness. But if you do change your mind, you know where to find us. That I do. Thank you, assassins. Hopefully we never shall meet again. We've been knighted. It gives a whole new twist to hiding in plain sight. Is a pretty blade. All right, give me one second. There's a thing I have to do over here. There we go. Okay. Now. All right. How are we doing on time? Fifty-three minutes. Uh, Fifty-three. So seven till. Uh. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. We might have to go over ten. Because we are so close that it's not worth carrying over to next week. Um, I, because I, yeah, eh. I don't know. Let's see here. Um, oh, Evie's notebook, number eleven. Jayadeep Mir, aka Mr. Henry Green. Yes, his father, as I think I've said before on stream, was the main character of Assassin's Creed India. Assassin's Creed Chronicles India. All right, so. Yep, those are all completed. Okay, so we only have four of these. So in theory, as long as they're not too involved, they shouldn't take too long. So we shouldn't go over too much in theory. It's all in theory.
Chi. Inside the fence or outside the fence? Outside the fence. Okay. Oh, but it's an interactable door. Operation Dynamite Boat. <laughs> friends your majesty we understand that with crawford staric gone a certain secret society finds itself searching for leadership an upstart faction seeks to enter london and seize power do you feel your life is in danger ma'am no rather i fear that the people of this grand city may suffer i call upon you to foil this traitorous plot you can depend on us. You will meet my loyal aide at the docks for instructions. The work begins immediately. One second. A quick message. Thanks. Wrong way. This way. There we go. I am Alfred Fleming. I run Her Majesty's Secret Service. First things first, we need to clear the area of anything that might alarm the enemy. Like that police carriage. Would you kindly dispose of it? immediately runs Fleming over with it. Disguised as civilians, get them into position for our ambush. A ship will soon arrive from Boston. Its cargo, dynamite. Its crew, Templar. What say you to greeting it with an ambush? If we must, we must.
the orb. Thank That's you. Their leader. I want him brought to me at the station, alive. away game to tell me your plans go to hell now now steric may be dead and gone but the temporal order will never die we will rise again like a phoenix from the ashes and bring the world to its knees yes well best of luck with that My people are recovering their explosive cargo. You did fine work today. I will have a chat with our distinguished guest here to see what schemes he and his friends are brewing. Do let me know if he says anything interesting. Of course. Now that we've been knighted, we can run around here all we want, which I, I like that attention to detail, you know? Good old Vicky. attempted to force a confession from your prisoner. The miscreant refuses to talk. Will you speak to the villain and learn his secrets? Sure. Leave it to me, Your Majesty. Where do I go? Oh, for real, where am I going? Oh, quite far. Okay. There you are. 
go. There you go. Easy now. Must I pummel you severely about the head and shoulders? Or can we simply talk? To die. Might as well. The order was to load a train with explosives at Westminster. It'll detonate before reaching Southwark Station and kill everyone aboard. You people in your damn dynamite. When does it happen? It doesn't matter. It's the next train. It should leave at any moment. You'll never make it in time. Bitch, watch me. If I can get off the damn building. Sorry, right, stealing a cop car. Let's go. Evie. Oh, for the love of God. Nope. 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 game crashed of course it did of course it did what else would it do <sighs> well the game's coming back up up here
Okay, I'm back. As is the game. You know, I was on such a good track, too, before the game crashed. Like, even if I had failed that mission, the game takes so fucking long to come back up. The theory about the head and shoulders. Or can we simply I talk? Swear to you, might as well. The order was to load a train with explosives at Westminster. Right, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> you people in your damn dynamite. When does it happen? It's the next train. It should leave at any moment. <laughs> gonna catch it. Almighty. Okay, so she's over here, which I could get to by going straight through. Pardon me, coming through. Don't mind me. They're halfway there. Two more. Coming through. So
much lamented husband adored these gardens. He called them his one safe port in the midst of the mad seas of this world. We miss him dearly. But never mind all that. To business. Our Mr. Fleming has learned from the Templar prisoner that an attack is imminent. But before we could learn more, he escaped custody. He is believed to be hiding in Westminster. We capture him for us, that we might learn his secrets. He won't be On free it. for long, ma'am. I promise. Conspirators soon enough. It's ready to go. All in this here carriage? What took you so long? Temporary setback, nothing more. Got you don't pinch, did you? Shut it, you bombing mug. I'm going on ahead to scout the location. Bring these explosives to the safe house and wait for my signal. Yes, sir. Too many innocents nearby. I'll snatch away the explosives before continuing the hunt. thing and run the fuck away, bitch. The final of her capes.
she's gonna be upstairs, because of course she is. Is there an open window? Probably not. Nope. Alright. Fine. Repeat <laughs> easy. Move on. The final group of upstarts are making their last desperate stand. They have penetrated the Houses of Parliament and plan to detonate whatever explosives they have left. Please find Mr. Fleming. <laughs> So we might put an end to this once and for all. Okay. And it's not gonna let me fast travel because I'm in the middle of a mission. What's my way in? <laughs> Good window? That's what I thought. Okay. Pardon me, coming through. Could have just gone around the damn corner. All armed and dangerous. Making matters worse, the Prime Minister has gone missing. I need uh -oh. you to deal with the Templars. Target one is in a nearby corridor, surrounded by civilians. He has explosives on his person. You need Good to take job. him by surprise. If he sees you, he'll detonate his bomb. In the meantime, I'll search for the Prime Minister. be removed quickly and quietly.
Make one kill himself, but no innocence. Okay. Well done. But there are still more bombers about. They must be removed quickly and quietly. Hmm. How to make a Templar kill himself. I have a theory. Sir, I need you to turn around. Whatever is she doing? Whatever is she doing? Okay, now we just need to wait for him to come back. Sorry, Fleming, I need the spot. Plan! When he's close to that door that I just opened, rush up to him, kidnap him, shove him out the door, he blows up. In theory. Or not. It takes too long for her to get into the kidnap and shove into motion thing. Okay. Alright, good to know. Um... Still more bombers about. They must be removed quickly and quietly. Ah, okay. This guy back here is, in theory, the one I want to do this with. No, you're seeing nothing. Come on, bitch, let's go. Come on. Intruder! 
Oh no. Steady, Prime Minister. I'll have you free in a moment. Hello, Not Mr. Disraeli. Assassin. You've lost, don't you see? The Houses of Parliament are rigged to explode at the last stroke of 12. There's nothing you or anyone else can do to stop it now. The Houses of Parliament will be leveled. Centuries of history. I believe that is a clue. Find those bombs before they go off. <laughs> Move! Okay, last one's outside up top. All right. I don't think I have time to get up there. I get down from here. Right here. Alright. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Disraeli. Thank you, my young friend. Now, please come with me. You and your sibling have been summoned. Cool. us with your loyalty and courage long may we strengthen the empire together your majesty we will always work to ensure the safety of the people but with the greatest respect our philosophy forbids us from assisting with the expansion of the empire perhaps ma'am you could consider putting an end to your imperialist desires <laughs> i understand and respect your position bound as you are by your creed 
you will indulge me one final time and receive these gifts. Goodbye. May God bless the noble fries. you'll be offered any more cake. Probably not. And the royal cloak. Glitches. Alright. That is the royal coat. All right. And with that, we have 100% synchronization with the primary game. All right. And also with that, that's where we're going to call it for the night. Um, we have officially beat the main game of Assassin, completed the main game of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, we will be picking up next week with the, uh, Jack the Ripper DLC. Um, and I'm excited for it, um, for reasons. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me for the night. Uh, we'll be back on Monday. No, what, what day is today? What day is today? Today is Monday. So we'll be back tomorrow. Sorry, my brain just alt f forward and like completely screwed itself. Uh, we'll be back Tuesday, tomorrow, Tuesday, with more Tomb Raider. Uh, but we'll be back next week, in theory, assuming, you know, all, assuming all things constant. We'll be back next week with more <coughs> uh, Sausage Creed. But uh, we'll be back. Oh, excuse me. Until then, we'll be back tomorrow with more Tomb Raider Tuesday. Hopefully we don't have nearly the problems we had last week. Oof -da. Um. So, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow. And before we head out, please check out the link tree, which is link tree slash Crimson Knight, um, which is a place where you can support me if you so choose. Um or find places to support me. Linktree has places where you can find me, basically. My brain is not working. I'm sorry. It, it's late. My brain has reached I'm done mode. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Linktree has socials, Discord, Patreon, YouTube, and Twitch, and other things. So check that out. Um, also, but if you want to support me, that uh, support me without, you know, more than just viewing my stuff, uh, you can do that through the Patreon, patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, as is displayed on screen here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like I said, we'll be back tomorrow. And so until then, uh, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I'll see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.